I think he's going to get bigger and stronger. He already seems bigger than before. I've never seen him this big. I weigh 114 kilos. I took a one-month break after facing Artyom Morozov. Now, my preparation seems better than it was for Artyom. But I'm not working with heavyweights yet. I'm just gradually increasing the load and working out lightly. At the moment, I'm healthier. But I'm not stronger than I was before when I faced Artyom. I think I'll reach my peak in about one and a half months, or seven weeks. I don't think endurance will be the main factor here. I believe wrist strength will be key. Alijan also has strong biceps, and there's a chance he could hold me in a supination position. I don't see myself stopping him in a defensive position, even if I manage to control his pronator. Zaranov has become much stronger than he used to be. I didn't expect him to beat Revaz the way he did. I didn't expect Zaranov to catch him in a losing position. I thought Revaz would top-roll him. Maybe Revaz wasn't fresh enough and was already exhausted by the second round. Both athletes have gotten bigger and now Zaranov seems to be at that level. I would still bet on Vitaly. I think in most of their matches Vitaly has won, but in some, he is lost. It could be similar now, maybe one round for Zaranov, but the other rounds for Vitali. I would give a 60-40 chance in favor of Vitali. I know Gennady can be extremely strong and versatile, and he has great endurance, just like Michael. Now I see that Michael is improving, and he's at a different level than he was several months ago. He's heavier and stronger. I haven't seen Gennady recently. Some people underestimate Michael because he had some tough times when he lost weight and lost to Ongar Baev. He wasn't the same Michael for maybe two years, but now he's improved. I think this could be a 50-50 match. 